Hello again, everybody. Um, my name is Taylor Myers, and I am a, or I'm finishing up my first semester of teaching, so not a full year. Um, I graduated college this past November and started teaching in third grade in January. So I've not had a full year yet. This is just my first semester that I'm finishing up in third grade but I just accepted a first grade position in a new district for the upcoming school year. So I have been collecting things for first grade and this video is going to be a little free library book haul of all the books that I have collected from the little free library in the past couple of weeks for my first grade classroom library. I have a whole stack of books over here because I have been cleaning out my third grade classroom library and I have been donating stacks and stacks of books to the Little Free Library. So usually when I've been going the past few days, I found a lot of books to for my first grade library. So I have picked those up as well as donated a lot more to the Little Free Library. If you do not know what Little Free Library is, it is like a program, I guess, um, where it's like these little birdhouse looking things that people can put up in front of their homes or businesses or in parks, anywhere that they want to, you know, register one and build one. And it's just this little birdhouse where people in the community can go and donate books that they have used and read that they may not want anymore or just need to get rid of. They go and put them in there and then you can come and take one or take several as long as you're donating several back and it's just a really good incentive or program to have in your community where people can donate free books and you can get a lot of free books so there are several where i live so i very fortunate to get a bunch of these books for free a lot of these are brand new too like brand new awesome books that I have seen on Instagram or on my wish list seen them on TikTok on YouTube and I've gotten them all for free because people have donated them to the little free library so if you want to know if there are any free little free libraries where you live all you have to do is go on the internet look up little free library it'll take you to the website and then there's a map where you can look and see if there are any where you live by either putting in this name of the city where you live or your zip code or anything like that. So all of these books today are books that I have collected recently from the Little Free Library. While I have been cleaning out and donating books from my third grade library to make room for my first grade library, as well as picking up a lot of new books as you saw from that stack. Sometimes people also put things in there that are not books like games, toys, things like that. I've gotten board games out of them, puzzles. And before we get into the books that I got, we're going to go ahead and get into it. But I got two non-book related things from Little Free Library to put in my classroom as well. So, sorry if I heard some. First thing that I got is this little pouch, key, unicorn keychain. Well, this would be good in my prize box. It's just a little pouch. First graders love unicorns. They love things like this. I, I know if I was still in first grade or when I was in first grade, this is something that I would have picked out of the prize box. So I figured this would just be a good little thing to add to my prize box for them to pick out. Next thing I got is this little box of stamps. There's just a lot of ink pads and stamps in here that I thought would be good. I don't know, some kind of incentive reward, the indoor recess, like if you're th those kids that are crafty, like to draw, create things, I don't know, I'll find something to use these for. Even if I don't, they were free out of the little free library. And if I don't use them, I can always go donate them back to the little free library. So, but I'm sure I'll find something to use these stamps for, so. Those are the two non-book things that I got out of the Little Free Library. So now we can get into this rather large stack of books from the Little Free Library that I have collected over the past few weeks. So let's get into that. All right, first things, or first two things that I have are these two phonics workbooks, both 
for first grade and for these i don't really know if i'll use these in my centers or dur during instructions or not because it probably won't follow the curriculum that i'll be using at my new school very well so i figured i could use like this for maybe homework or extension activities differentiation anything like that but they're basically the same thing they were free so i grabbed them i think i almost bought this one from the thrift store before for 50 cents but i was thinking may not follow the curriculum that we're using but if they're free i can go ahead and grab them so i'll probably use those for like i said homework extension differentiation anything like that small group i don't know we'll see we'll find something to use those for so next thing i got and i'm so excited about this one it's this vintage Curious George book. This is Curious George Flies a Kite. And the, on the sticker here, it has the year that it's from. I don't know if you can see it. It's from 1958. So this book is over 60 years old and I love it. First of all, because I have a whole Curious George bin. And then it's literally still in like perfect condition. The pages are smooth, straight, like it's in perfect condition. Like, I love vintage books, and I was so freaking excited when I saw this in there. A 60-something-year-old book, Curious George, in perfect condition. Oh, so happy. I'm so happy about this one. I got that. Uh, the next two that I got are chapter books that probably most first graders that I will, or will be in my class probably will not be able to read these just because... They're a little higher level, but this is a series that I collect, you know, just in case I ever teach second or third grade again. I want to have a lot of this series in my classroom library, so I just collect these. And I have found two over the past few days in the Little Free Library, so I have grabbed them. And that is the What Is, What Was series. So I got What Was the Ice Age, and I'm probably about to butcher this name, but I got Where Are the Galapagos, Galapagos Islands. I don't know I butchered that name, but I collect these series. I found a lot of these in the past in the Little Free Libraries, so I was excited to find two more. And again, this is just a series I collect, even if I don't have them in out in my library. In my first grade classroom, I will have them stored somewhere. And I might pull them out at the end of the year or something, especially if I have just a reader in first grade that is very excelled, excelling reader. But for the most part, I probably will save these in case I ever teach a higher grade again. So, got those two. Next one I got is Cat Kid Comic Club. This is just a sampler. So, this is this author, Dave Pilkey, his newest novel. He's the author of Captain Underpants and Dogman. And this is his new character novel of novels, Cat Kid. So, this is not the full graphic novel. This is just a sampler. But I grabbed it because I thought it's like the perfect length for first graders, especially to bridge them over to graphic novels and chapter books later in the year. Like it's just the perfect size as a bridge to get them ready to, for reading the full size graphic novels and chapter books. So I grabbed that one. Then I got National Geographic Kids. I love, I have several of these. I love this series or whatever. This is Ponies, they're not fiction on Ponies. Judy B. Jones and the Mushigashi Valentine. I have a collection of Judy B. Jones, so I grabbed that one as well. Then I got some leveled readers. So this is Pinkalicious Fairy House. These are just some I can read books. So this is level one. Little Pony, Ponies Love Pets, another level one. Another level one I can read, Sammy the Seal. I have Danny the, the Dinosaur already, so happy to find that one. And then this is my first reading. This is Pete the Cat, Pete at the Beach. So I love Pete the Cat too, so happy to find those. And I got two holiday books. I got Fancy Nancy's Elegant Easter. So I only have like a couple Easter books, so I was happy to find this one. And it has like flaps that flap over and show stuff, so I was thought this one was pretty cool very interactive so i grabbed that one and then i got pete the cat trick or pete 
the Halloween Pete the Cat book. This one also has flaps and it has words inside the flaps that add to the story. So again, another very interactive book, holiday book. So I got those two. Then I got I Am the Boss of This Chair. It's a hardcover brand new book. It retails for $16.95 and I got it for free. And I just honestly just like the way this cover looked. It was really cute. The illustrations are really cute. Like blue cat and that yellow cat. Like it's just too cute. So I grabbed it. Not really my favorite story in the whole world, but it was super super cute so like i said i grab it it's free can't complain then i got the living rainforest and anim animal alphabet so this is a non-fiction book about animals in the alphabet so it has animals in the rainforest that start with each letter of the alphabet then it has just a paragraph short little paragraph of information about every animal so like we have eagle frog sloth toucan all kinds of different animals in the rainforest so i thought this was a good non-fiction book to have then i got two more chapter books this is magic treehouse the super edition number one world at war 1944 so this is obviously in world war ii this is another series chapter books i collect because a lady back in december when i got my third grade job donated her child's collection personal collection of Magic Treehouse books and it was almost the entire entire series like I have like 60 something Magic Treehouse books so I figured I should continue on collecting this series and first graders I've I've known for some first graders to be able to read Magic Treehouse books so I grabbed that one and then I also got the nonfiction version of World War II Magic Treehouse so they have these fat, fact fact tr tracker books which is nonfiction books on the settings that the stories are placed in. So I got the non the fiction version and the nonfiction version Magic Tree House books. And these are both brand new as well, like never been used for free from Little Free Library. Then I got the absolutely positively no princess book. I thought this one was really cute because it's about a tomboy. And then this little princess that keeps trying to be part of her book and she does not want a princess in her book because she doesn't like princess things and like all the text is in thought bubbles and it's just really cute really cute story so i grabbed that one then i got cornelia splunk can learn next to skunk a story about owning your learning journey wherever you may be so this one's just about learning in different settings different scenarios and how you can learn to the best of your ability and things like this so I grabbed that one then I got I'm just no good at rhyming and other nonsense for mischievous kids and immature grown-ups so this is a poetry book and it reminds me very much of Shel Silverstein and I love him I've had so many books in my personal library as a kid by him and I have several in my classroom library by him so I saw this one and I knew I had to grab it because it reminds me a lot of him and I love him so like a bunch of poems it even looks like his illustrations the way that his poems are formatted so I grabbed this one as well to include love that then I got oh no gotta go this is a good representative book to have because almost every page has some Spanish in it or on it. The dialogue of the characters is in Spanish, which I do have quite a few Spanish or Spanish books, but not a lot where most of the story is in Spanish like this one. So grab that one. And I got Sick Simon, which is all about coming to school when you're sick and how your sickness can spread to everybody else so don't come to school when you're sick obviously this is very fitting for today's times so I had to grab that one then this is one of the ones I have seen all over YouTube and Instagram and TikTok 
that I have been wanting. It was on the Amazon wish list and I got it brand new for free out of the little free library. So that's Amy Wu and the perfect bow. I hope that I say that right. Please let me know if I don't. This was completely free. Little free library. Brand new. Retails for $17.99. Completely free. And I have not read, I have read it now, but I did not read it when I first grabbed it out. But I've heard so many good things about it that I knew I had to have it. And I love the illustrations in it. They're so cute. So I was so happy to find this one. So excited to have that one. All right, last two. The next one that I have, this was one of my favorites growing up in elementary school. And it's in a hardcover, brand new for free. So I was so excited to find this one. The Stinky Cheese Man and Other Fairly Stupid Tales. It's also out there. Caldecott honor book so I had to grab this one again like I said one of my favorites this is a hard cover version for free this retails for $18.99 and I got it for free one of my favorites ever so excited and then my last one that I have gotten from the little free library over the past couple of weeks is Pirates Love Underpants so I thought this was added on to the series, like the ones called How I Became a Pirate and Pirates Don't Change Diapers. I have both of those as well. So I thought this one was part of that series as well, but I don't think it is. I think it's just a different pirate, a story about pirates, which I know for, teachers have a lot of books about pirates in their classroom library and I did not have a lot. I only have those two. So I was happy to find this one and that it's a completely different story from the other two series, part of the series that I have. So, grab this one, and apparently this author also has a book called Dinosaurs Love Underpants. So, I may need to get that one as well, but this one is about pirates loving underpants. So, thought that was cute and fun, and it's a hardcover book, brand new for free, retails for $17.99, so I grabbed it. So, those are all of my books that I have collected out of the little free library in the past couple of weeks. So, if you don't know, if you have a little free library where you live, I highly, highly suggest you look into it because you can find amazing books there. So, most of them brand new are the ones that I have found. Most of these were brand new, amazing condition, not used, for free, all for free. It is encouraged that if you take books out of the Little Free Library that you donate some in there as well. So that is why I have such a big stack over here is because I have donated almost 100 from my classroom library in third grade. Just a bunch of chapter books, novels, or like research nonfiction books that I know will not get used in first grade. And that I can do without if I do end up teaching a higher grade again. I've been donating those into the Little Free Library, and I have been fortunate enough to find a bunch of good books for my first grade library in there as well. So, I'm sure I'll collect a lot of more stacks out of the Little Free Libraries over this summer before I start in August. But yeah, definitely look into see if there are any Little Free Libraries where you live, because you definitely want to take advantage of this and having them if you do but yeah that is all that i have for today hope you enjoyed and i will see y'all again bye